Hi, hello children. How are you all? Welcome back to my class. So in this class, we are going to start your same lesson of maths. That is division. Open page number 8. Page number 8. Chapter number 2. Division. So children, you know that already we have started this lesson. Don't worry. You will get all those videos links in my description box. Just check it out. Okay. Now come to the exercise part which is there on page number 18. Exercise 2.1. So, in the previous videos, already we have covered the first main, second main, third main and the fourth main, right? So, today let us start with the fifth main, right? Solve the following problems. First, let us read the first problem which we are going to solve. A tailor has 18 meters of cloth. He can stitch 9 shirts from this cloth. Find the length of cloth required to stitch one shirt. Understood. So, a tailor, he has 18 meters of cloth. So, within this 18 meters of cloth, he can stitch how many shirts? He can stitch 9 shirts. Okay. So, now you have to find out that the length of cloth required to stitch one shirt. Okay. So, within this 18 meters, how, meet, how much length is uh, length of cloth is required to stitch one shirt. Okay. So, let's do it. First, we have to write the particulars. You know that, right? So, let's write it. A tailor has 18 meters of cloth. So, first sentence should be length of cloth a tailor has. That is equal to 18 meters, right? So, let's write it here. Length of cloth a tailor has how much? 18 meter, right? Next sentence, he can stitch 9 shirts from this cloth, right? So, what will be our sentence? Number of shirts can be stitched, right? So, let's write it here. Yes, number of shirts can be stitched. How, ma how many numbers of shirts? 9, right? Next, what you have to find out? You have to find out the length of cloth required to stitch one shirt, right? So, let's write it here. So, the length of cloth required to stitch one shirt. So, that will be a question mark that you have to find out, right? So, let's do it now. Yes, what we have to do now? We have to divide it, right? Because we have to find out the length required, the length of cloth required to stitch one shirt. One shirt means we have to do the division. We have to see that, right? So, let's write it. A length of a cloth the tailor has. How much? It is 18 meter, right? Then, the number of shirts can be stitched, that is 9 right so the 9 will become the divisor and 18 will become the dividend now let's do it it's very easy children you can do it right so now you have to start from the first digit always you have to start from the sorry not from the first the highest digit right so which is the highest digit here 1 so can you divide 1 by 9 no in this case what you have to do you have to take the next number also so it will become 18. Now, can you divide 18 by 9? Yes, easily you can, right? So, for this, what you have to do? You have to read the 9 table. So, let's read it. 9 ones are 9. 9 twos are 18. See, 9 twos are 18. So, 9 twos are 18, right? So, next, 8 minus, let's subtract it. 8 minus 8 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. So, what is your answer? 2 is your answer. So, therefore, the length of cloth required to stitch one shirt is how much? 2 meter. Okay. So, therefore, the length of cloth required to stitch one shirt is how much? 2 meter meter so this is your answer understood children very good now let's move to the next one the second one which is there on page number 19 second one a bike can cover 
240 kilometer with 5 liters of petrol find how many kilometers does it cover with 1 liter of petrol a bike it can cover 240 kilometer with 5 liters of petrol okay so now you have to find out that how many kilometers does this bike covers with only 1 liter of petrol within 5 liter of petrol it is covering 240 kilometer so now you have to find out that how many uh, so how many kilometer does it complete with 1 liter of petrol okay so let's write the particulars first first sentence a bike can cover 240 kilometer with 5 liters of petrol so how will be your first sentence a bike can covers 240 kilometer with 5 liters of petrol right the sentence should be same let's write it like distance can be covered by bike how much 240 kilometer right distance can be covered by bike how much 2 here it is there 240 kilometer right so let's write it here 240 kilometer okay so next sentence but how much petrol is required to complete sorry to cover 240 kilometer it is 5 liters right so our next sentence should be petrol required to cover the distance yes petrol required to cover the distance is how many liters 5 liters right 5 liters next what you have to find out find how many kilometers does it cover with 1 liter of petrol so distance covered in 1 liter of petrol that you have to find out okay so let's write it here so that will be a question mark right so now let's write in the division form we have to do the division because you are finding the 1 liter the kilo distance covered in 1 liter right so how you are going to write the 240 will be your dividend right that is a distance and the divisor will be the 5 liter so you will know you will come to know the distance covered in 1 liter so we will write the 5 here right so let's do it now so you know how to do the division it is a three digit uh, divisions is there so always have to start from the highest so if you see the 2 2 is very less than the 5 so you cannot divide 2 by 5 in this case what you have to do you have to take one more uh, number which is in the highest place so that will be a 4 so now it will become what 24 right so now you have to read the five table till you get the number 24 because 24 is Yes, is this uh, lesser or uh, bigger? It is a uh, bigger than the five, so it is easily can be divided by five, right? Yes. So let's read the five table. Five ones are five. Five twos are ten. Five threes are fifteen. Five fours are twenty. Five fives are twenty-five. So if you see here, I'll write here. Yes. So five threes are twenty. Sorry. Fifteen. Five fours are twenty. Five fives are twenty-five. If you see a number here, it is twenty-four, and here it is twenty and twenty-five. So twenty-four is lies between twenty and twenty-five. So which number you have to take? You have to take the less number. So which is the less number here? Twenty is a less number. So five fours are twenty. So five fours are twenty. So let's subtract it. Four minus zero is how much? Four, right? So two minus two is zero. Now you have to bring down the next number, right? So this will become forty. Now you have to read the five table till you get the number forty. Five ones are five. Five twos are ten. Five threes are fifteen. Five fours are twenty. Five fives are twenty-five. Five sixes are thirty. Five sevens are thirty-five. Five eights are Forty. So five eights are forty. So five eights are forty. Right. So same as it is here. Right. Let's subtract it. Zero minus zero is zero. 
4 minus 4 is 0, 0 is 0. So, what is your answer? 48 is your answer. So, therefore, bike covers 48 kilometers with 1 liter of petrol. Isn't it? So, we have to find out that distance covered in 1 liter. So, in 1 liter, the bike covered how many kilometers? 48 kilometers. So, let's write it here. Therefore, bike covers 48 kilometer with 1 liter of petrol. So, 48 will be your answer. Understood children? Good. Now, let's, do the, let's move to the next one. Third one, 25,004 bags of cement are loaded equally into 14 railway wagons so 25004 bags of cement are loaded equally into 14 railway wagons find the number of bags in each wagon understood children so here 25400 bags of cement they are loaded equally in how many railway wagons 14 railway wagons you have to find out that in each wagon how many bags are loaded Okay, so let's write the particulars first. What will be your first sentence? Here, right. So, number of cement, here, number of cement bags loaded. How many? 24, sorry, 25,004, right. Number of cement bags loaded. How many? It is 25,004, right. It is 25,004. Next, how many railway wagons are there? 14. So, the number of railway wagons. Number of uh, railway wagons is 14, right? So, next, what you have to find out? You have to find out the number of bags in each wagon. So, number of bags in each wagon. So, we'll write here. So, this will be your question mark. So, let's do it now. Number of cement bags loaded. So, how many it is? 25,000. 4, right? Yes. So, here, number of railway wagons. So, that will be a divisor. So, when you divide this number of uh, number of cement bags loaded with number of railway wagons, you will, get, you will come to know that how many bags are loaded in each wagon. So, 25,004 divided by 14. Okay. So, let's do it, children. So, now you have to start from the highest number, means the number which is in the highest place. So, that is 2. Can you divide 2 by 14? No, it is not possible because 2 is less than 14. In this case, you have to take next number, so it will become 25. Now, you can easily divide by 14 because it is a bigger than the 14. Now, you have to read the 14 table till you get the number 25. Okay, so let us read it. 14 ones are 14, 14 twos are 28, 14 threes are 42. So, if you see here, 14 ones are 14, 14 twos are 28, right? So, here 14 twos are 28, 28 is, is a larger than the 25. So, which number we have to take? You have to take the 14 ones are 14, right? So, if you want, I will write it here. So, here I have written 14 ones are 14, 14 twos are 28, 28 is a bigger than the 25. So, you cannot take. Which number you have to take? You are always you have to take the less number. So, 14 ones are 14. So, 14 ones are 14. Now, let us subtract it. 5 minus 4 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. So, it is 11. Right. Now, you have to bring down the next number that is a 0. So, now. You have to read the 14 table till you get the number 110. Okay. So, let us read it. 14 ones are 14. 14 twos are 28. 14 threes are 42. 14 fours are 56. 14 fives are 70. 14 six are 84. 14 sevens are 98. 14 eights are 112. See, 14 sevens are 98. I will write here if you want. 14 sevens are Yes, you can see 14 7s are 98, 14 8s are 112. So, 112 is bigger than the 110. So, we cannot take this number. We have to take the less number. So, which is less number here? 98. So, 14 7s are 98. So, I'll write here 14 7s are 98. Right. See, you are not supposed to write 9 here. You know how to write the numbers 1 below. 
right always have to start from the unit place so 98 now you have to subtract you know how to do the subtraction so we cannot uh, subtract 8 from 0 what we have to do in this case you have to borrow 1 from the next place so this so this will become what it will become a 0 and this will become what it will become 10 so now 10 minus 8 is how much it is 2 right next can you do um, uh, can you subtract 9 from 0 no in this case what you have to do you have to take one you have to borrow one from the next place so it will become 0 and this will become what 10 so 10 minus 9 is how much it is 1 and the 0 as it is 0 now you have to bring down the next number that is 0 now it will become what 120 now you have to read the 14 table till you get the number 120 yes children read it you just read along with me okay 14 ones are 14 14 twos are 28 14 threes are 42 14 fours are 56 14 fives are 70 14 six are 84 14 sevens are 98 14 eights are 112 14 nines are 126 yes 14 i'll write here 14 nines are how much it is 126 if you see 126 is a larger than 120 so we cannot take which number we have to take yes very good you have to take this one 14 is a 112 because it is a less than this 120 so 14 is a 112 right so let's subtract it zero we cannot what subtract two from zero in this case what you have to do you have to borrow one from the next place so it will become what it will become this is become one and this will become 10 so 10 minus 2 is how much it is 8 and here 1 minus 1 is 0 1 minus 1 is 0 and the 0 is same 0 now you have to bring down the next number because we are having one more number right so 4 now it will become 84 now you have to read the 14 table till you get the number 18 uh, 40 uh, sorry 84 so let's read it 14 ones are 14, 14 twos are 28, 14 threes are 42, 14 fours are 56, 14 fives are 70, 14 six are 84. So 14 six are 84. 14 six are 84. So let's subtract it. 4 minus 4 is 0, 8 minus 8 is 0, and 0 same as it is, and the 0 same 0. So what is your answer? 1786 is your answer. So therefore, the number of bags, the number of bags in each wagon is how much? It is 1786 1786 so this is your answer understood children very good now let's move to the next one so here it is there fourth fifth and sixth one that we are going to continue in the next class so in today's class we have completed first second and third one from fifth main but children you just try to solve this fourth fifth and sixth one okay Till then, take care of yourself. Be with me. And how do you feel about my videos? Let me know in the comment section. If this video is really useful to you, don't forget to like, share and do subscribe my channel. Till then, bye-bye.